think I, I don't think I've seen people like go to detox, take care of a wound, get themselves housing without feeling that they're worth it. And I think that so many people, their lives experiences have taught them over and over again that they're not worth anything. It's always kind of funny telling this story because it's a story about how as a 27 year old woman I didn't know that my mom had been beekeeping for like over 30 years and that she'd always had bees in her life. She took me into one of the colonies and just this like such tranquility in that moment and such beauty in the way the bees communicate and work together. Seeing how gentle they were and realizing like oh, I, I want this in the downtown east side. Like I want this like beautiful, serene, idyllic, like countryside moment where I'm just focused on the bees. I just hear the bees. I just smell the colony. I want this in the Hastings Folk Garden. It knows better than to go off and get processed. The beekeeping and the gardening, um, the bricklaying, the painting, whatever we're doing on that day, it's almost like there's, there's so much more that's going on there that then creates this feeling at the end of the day of accomplishment and meaning and contribution. Just like can see it on people, like the pride on people's faces when they leave that garden knowing that we achieved like that really good work today. Having pride in ourselves, that's, that's part of self-worth. And having pride in our communities, that's this like self-worth on this community level. The garden looks incredible these years, it just gets better and better, the bees are really healthy and we've founded this society now and yeah, I think we can do it, I think we can make this thing uh, a thing that can last and that can employ people and that can build hope.